And uh, uh, Lloyd Marbet has uh, a word for us. Uh, Ralph mentioned earlier uh, the closure of the Trojan nuclear plant, and of course no one did as much as Mr. Marbet. Lloyd? Thank you very much. I want to make an announcement, and I don't want to take a lot of time to do it. But I want to refer, first of all, to a man who I hold in great esteem by the name of Dr. James Hansen, who's a climate scientist who has appeared before Congress last year and talked about how we have reached a tipping point in global warming based on the scientific evidence that he has gathered. Early in 2009, he made the announcement that the operation of coal-fired plants in this country is the same as operating death factories. And he has begun to put his body on the line in an attempt to stop the operation of coal-fired plants in this country. Now, we have a coal-fired plant in Oregon. It's called the Boardman Coal-Fired Plant. It's operated by Portland General Electric. If you had seen a newspaper announcement last month PGE announced that they had done an integrated resource plan. It's a 20-year outlook into the future about where we need to go in Oregon with energy resources. And guess what? What they want to do is, is they want to build two gas-fired plants at 400 megawatts, and they want to put $500 million into the continued operation of the Boardman plant, a plant in which the Sierra Club has gone to court and recently run at least the first stage of their lawsuit in an attempt to keep in court and make a case that this plant needs to be shut down. And I'd like to read for you just briefly what the Sierra Club has to say about Boardman. PGE Boardman is a 615 megawatt coal-fired plant in Boardman, Oregon. It is only one of two power plants in the West that has avoided installing modern pollution controls since it was constructed in the 1970s. Its emissions have caused and or contributed to acid rain and fog deposition in the Columbia Gorge and impaired visibility in 10 or more wilderness areas in Oregon and Washington. PGE Boardman is the largest stationary source of nitrogen oxide pollution in Oregon. It is the largest stationary source of sulfur dioxide in Oregon and the second largest emitter of mercury in the state. Boardman also generates around a million tons of carbon dioxide, hundreds of tons of fine particulate matter, and hundreds of tons of carbon monoxide each year. The Boardman coal plant is a death factory, and it needs to be shut down. Tomorrow is the deadline for people to comment to Portland General Electric on its integrated resource plan. Go to the Sierra Club website and find out where you can make your comment. You don't have to be elaborate on it. You can tell them point blank that you as a citizen don't want to see this plant to continue to operate and you wish to see this company to go to zero emissions. And guess what this company has said about how they're going to meet the carbon reduction strategy that this state has, has adopted. They have said that they are going to have to go to nuclear power. We voted not to have any more nuclear power in Oregon. Where are they going to go? They're going to go out of state. We as citizens need to stand up and put a stop to this, just as we need to put a stop to what is happening with single-payer health care in Congress. We need to unite on the issues across the board. I invite you to take that civic responsibility that Ralph Nader talks about and stand up and do something about this too. Thank you.